It's something called the Zombie Beach Conundrum. It's primarily a North American phenomenon that has occurred since about the late 1950s. It's the idea that North Americans will behave exactly the opposite online as they will in real life. If you present them a choice in real life, they'll make one decision, but online, in the digital world, they'll make the exact opposite one. And it works virtually every time it's tried. Now, it has a lot to do with the fact that we live in a socialist country. A lot of people will say, Florida Maquis, we can never become a socialist country because we'll become just like Venezuela and blah, blah, blah. You already live in one, you just don't know it. Now, it's battlefield of the mind. I outline this and I show a perfect example in our brand new video that we just posted about an hour or two ago. Now, in case you were doubting this idea that the powers that be don't want you to be read in on military level psychological operations, it took YouTube 30 seconds to give me a warning for the thumbnail that I used for the video. They didn't actually take down the video. It's in unlisted status, and the way that you get to that is go over to the Florida Maki Patreon channel, sign up for the $1, the fully refundable $1. If what I'm saying is not true or you think I'm just full of it, you can pledge your $1, watch the video, don't agree, Get your dollar right back. No questions asked. You can do that for the first 90 days over there. You can watch hundreds of videos over there. But trust me, when you see this, you are going to rethink the way that you look at everything, not only in your real life, but online as well. And it'll give you a hint as to what's really, truly going on in this country. Now, would like to give a quick shout out to Lynn Liaz. I'm sure some of you might have heard of her. She has been around on YouTube for a long time. She has a couple of channels. She has her regular channel and Truth Hunters as well. And most recently, she put up a video talking about Revelation 13. Now, I sometimes read a Bible scripture or two as a preface into a video. She will, in this particular one, she goes on for an hour and five minutes talking about Revelation 13. Now, if you really want that kind of content, content, pardon me, Lynn Liaz is definitely the way you want to go. Now, the reason I also bring her up is because it kind of dovetails into another story. Lynn Liaz lives a hop, skip, and a jump from Springfield, Ohio. And she has assured me that this story coming out of there about... Oh, certain different ethnic groups acting like the character Alf, that's all I'm going to say about it, is total bunk. It's total BS. It's total make-believe nonsense. Now, some are like, wait a minute, wait a minute, are you saying Trump is wrong? Are you saying the story is made up? Yes. I absolutely am, because I've talked to somebody directly who lives there. She lives there. Never heard, she hasn't heard a thing about it. She's like, it's a total baloney story. It's phony baloney nonsense designed to get people just to think things. Now, once again, Truth Hunters, Truth Hunter Show, Lynn Liaz, L Y N space L E A H Z, L Y N space L E A H Z. Check her out. She has some great content going back a long, long time. Now, here's the part that blows my mind. I've been talking about psychological operations on this channel for years and years and years, and the cognitive biases and the logical fallacies that affect every human being on the planet. How many of you paid real close attention to the debate when Trump said the reason he was repeating this was because he heard it on TV? That was his source. He heard it on TV. Why did he believe it? Appeal to authority, insisting that a claim 
is true simply because a valid authority or expert on the issue said it was true, without any other supporting evidence offered. Also, see the appeal to false authority. Also, you can see the appeal to blind authority. Asserting that a proposition is true solely on the authority making the claim, it is often the case that those who blindly follow an authority, like Trump supporters, ignore any counter evidence to the authority's claim, no matter how strong the authority could be anyone or anything, including parents, a coach, a boss, military leader, document, or a god. You see, I can sit here and tell you that I have had conversation with somebody who lives there, right outside of Springfield, and can tell you the entire story about the whole immigrant dog-cat thing is a bunch of bunk. But still, people won't believe it. You know another reason they won't believe it? Anonymous authority, another logical fallacy. When an unspecified source is used as evidence for the claim, this is commonly indicated by phrases such as, they say that, or I heard it on TV, or it has been said, or I heard that, study show, or generalized groups such as scientists say, or science says, when we fail to specify a source of the authority, we can't verify the source, thus the credibility of the argument. Now, if you want to get read in on these tactics and techniques used by governments, used by the military, to make people believe things that just are not true, join us at the Patreon channel. I can show in just this last video alone, just this last video alone, talking about the zombie beach conundrum, the idea of black or white thinking, the idea of the bandwagon, the idea of appeal to authority, and even to some extent to quoquet. Also, I guess I could throw in a fifth one, something called No True Scotsman. That's called appeal to purity. Basically, it's saying that, well, no good person would do this, that, or the other. So, therefore, anybody who does that is not a good person. There are also 24 cognitive biases. Groupthink. Framing effect. Declinism. Declinism being the idea that things were always better in the past. MAGA. Sunk cost fallacy. Sticking with something until it completely implodes, simply because you've already invested a bunch of time and effort into it, it's basically the idea of throwing good money and good time after bad. Availability heuristic. The idea that the things we see on TV and the news pop to mind as if they're the only things happening in the world, when the things that we see on the news might only be a teeny tiny fraction of what's actually happening in the real world. This is what happens when people aren't trained to know how to use these things and to identify these things. They will get taken advantage of and they will be used. So, once again, not going to waste a lot of your time this evening. Just wanted to give a big shout out to Lynn Oz. She does great, absolutely spectacular Bible studies. Check her out. She's on Instagram as well. Heck of a dancer, too, by the way. Check out those videos. This was a perfect example of psychological operations. Perfect example. Join us. It's only a dollar. It's only a single dollar. Per video? Nope. Per week? Nope. Per month. And believe it or not, if you sign up for an entire year, it's actually less Less than a dollar a month. You could fit the pocket change into one of them old little plastic pocket purses that people used to carry around for the change so it didn't jingle all over the place. How many of you remember those? Those little plastic oval-shaped things that had the, the slit in the side and that you, you'd put all your change in there and you could put that in your pocket and it wouldn't be all loose and you couldn't know what you had. You could take that thing out. Back when people used to pay with real money change per month. That's all it is. And I keep it that way on purpose so that the most possible people can go over there and learn and learn these basic tactics, these basic techniques, battlefield of the mind. 
expending the least amount of effort to make your enemy believe that you are not a threat so that you can operate with impunity. That's the key. That's the key. The zombie beach conundrum. The zombie beach conundrum. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. Join us. It's a brand new video just posted. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.